Hello and welcome to Badger Workshop. So this is my fourth workshop if you include the Machine Mart tent, which I am. And in each one, I've built a clamp rack. So in my Hampshire workshop, I had this one where you slide the clamps in and out. It works great, but it sticks quite far out from the wall. And that's only okay if you've got lots of space, which now I don't. In my Durham workshop, I built this one that you slide the clamps into. That's really quick and easy to make and easy to use. But with long clamps, you need enough clearance in the top to be able to get them in and enough clearance at the bottom for them to hang down. So again, works better in bigger rooms. In the Machine Mark tent, I borrowed an idea from my podcast buddy, Keith Brown, and used some of these pipes. Now, this was quick and easy to do, and it's probably the quickest to actually get clamps out and put them away. But I don't think it looks neat. They get all bunched up. So that didn't really work for me. So after all that, I'm gonna declare myself a clamp rack expert and harness my inner Goldilocks and produce one that is just right. Now, this thing is not gonna be very complicated. I've got some 18 mil ply to make it out of. I've dug out all the clamps I've got. and I'm gonna start with making a rack for the longer, biggest ones. So I can work out how deep I need it to be and I can get it marked out. The clamps I have are pretty chunky, so I'm gonna go for 18 mil and I'm gonna get some strips ripped down on the table saw. I want the clamp rack to go on this wall and into these panels so I can work out the size it needs to be to fit into here and get it cut to length on the table saw. So what I want to do is cut slots in these bits of wood for the clamps to slide into. So now I can work out how deep I need the slots to go in here and strike a line down this board. The bar of these clamps looks to be just under a centimetre thick, so I think one centimetre slot should be great. So now I've just got to mark out where they all need to go. All marked out, now I need to get them cut out. So I'm gonna use the Bosch Professional Jigsaw with one of their new expert blades. Given all the bits of sand down because this is a pretty cheap plywood. Now I've also cut a bit of the same length out of a scrap of pallet wood and what I'm going to do is attach that to the back to support it. This bit is also going to give me a place to get some screws in to attach it to the wall. But first I'm going to get these two bits glued and screwed together. As I say, this is pretty cheap, horrible plywood, so I'm gonna get it all painted with the same paint that I've done the uh, bandsaw stand and some of the other bits in the workshop, so it all ties together nicely. The paint's dry, so let's get these up on the wall. Quite a big 
clamp collection. So I made a second one exactly the same as the first and get these lined up to each other. Now to get filled up, so I think I'll start with the longer clamps over in the corner. Right, so all those clamps I put up so far, ones I had already, and I had these heavy duty, quick joggers and quick clamps, but they sent me some new ones, so they're even chunkier. So these are gonna come in very handy. More new clamps I've got are these ratcheting ones. I've used one of them and uh, so far I'm really impressed. Right. Two racks full. Unfortunately, I've still got more clamps. But what I've remembered is actually I've made in the past a fourth clamp rack. Well, sort of. And it's to do with my air filter. These things are designed to be hung from the ceiling, but because of permitted development rules with uh, building outbuildings, you're limited on what height you can have. So with this workshop and my last workshop, wouldn't really go on the ceiling. And what I did last time was I mounted it on its side on the wall, which worked great. And I could have clamps underneath it. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same again. So I can make a shelf that incorporates a clamp rack for the last few clamps I have. I've cut down some more ply to act as this shelf. Now I want to cut a couple of bits at an angle to make the brackets for this. These end brackets, I can now get glued and screwed onto the shelf. I've got a bottom shelf to go on this thing as well, but this is what's gonna hold all the clamps like before. So now it's just more marking out and then cutting the slots for the clamps to go into. This bit can now just get glued and screwed onto the bottom. Right, I'm now just gonna add one more piece of wood and that's a bracing bit to the back because that will give me a way to actually attach this to the wall. Right, I think a quick sand and then we can get this painted.
Right, let's get this one on the wall. I'm not getting the level on this one because it just lines up with my panelling. Now to go on that rack, I've got yet another type of clamp. Jorgensen ones again, but these ones, F clamps are just all metal. No paint, no plastic. I like the simplicity of them. There we go, all done. Three clamp racks up and air filter going, which is great. Uh, I think these look really neat and they're very quick and easy to use. I think it's a nice little display on the back wall. The long clamps work well because to be able to get them in, well, it have to be a certain height off the floor to actually fit the clamp. And then to be able to get it fed into like a drop down one, which I used before, it'd be really tight in here. I'm not sure you'd be able to do it as these don't have any of those concerns. So I'll put links to these clamps down below because uh, they were sent to me, some of them. And I've been using some of them for years. Some of them I say they're brand new. And if you want to check out the other tools I use in bits, there'll be links to the tools I use page down below. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.